Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeep Kumar. Let's start a new tutorial about how we can create a solar tracking project in LabVIEW as well as Arduino. Okay, now let's start. First, we need some component and that is first you need Arduino Uno. Second, DC gear motor. This is 60 RPM. Okay, and it's work on 5 volt to 12 volt. Next one is breadboard. The next is motor driver. This one is L298N. Okay, and you see the terminal motor A out one out two. If you you if you're using two motor, then you need to connect motor one to this ter two terminals, and two is to this terminals. But in this project, we are using one motor only. That's why we are using motor A part this one. Okay, and this one is jumper. If you have a large voltage battery more than 12 volt, then you need to remove the jumper. But right now I'm using 12 volt battery. That's why I not need to remove the jumper. Okay, the center is GND. And this one is 5 volt of Arduino Uno. You need to connect 5 volt from Arduino Uno. And this is the pins enable A. This one is PWM pin. If you want to control the motor speed, then you need to remove this jumper. Okay. In the, uh, in this project, we are uh, remove this uh, jumper and using this enable one for control the uh, motor speed. Okay. And uh, you see enable A. This one is for this motor A and enable B for this motor two. Okay. And input one, input two input 1 and 2 uh, for motor A and input 3 and 4 for motor B okay and this one is LDR module okay LDR module two types uh, if you are using analog uh, system then you need to buy uh, with analog pin also but right I am using digital only digital VCC and ground okay and uh, last one you need to battery 12 volt battery DC okay now let's come on the circuit diagram okay first uh, let's uh, see the component okay this one is Arduino Arduino you know a motor driver and 12 battery this one is our two modules LDR modules okay and this one is our DC gear motor 60 rpm okay I'm using the D, uh, uh, multimeter for uh, check our solar plate voltage okay this one is solar plate and not connect with the Arduino directly two terminals connect to our multimeter for checking the voltage okay okay now uh, this is the circuit diagram okay this uh, you see LDR module we need two LDR and you see denote and everything is defined here denote it connect to pin number 8 okay and second LDR module pin number connect to pin number 7 okay every details here uh, follow step by step and you see ground you need to connect to the ground to this and 5 volt to this and you need to connect this 5 volt and ground to your Arduino you know okay please uh, connect this 5 volt to this terminals and this ground to this okay and other is same okay and you see this is the motor driver uh, this uh, first terminal we need to connect motor directly positive to positive negative negative and the three pins 12 volt battery you need to connect 12 volt positive pins second uh, center one is your GND we need to connect negative you see and this terminal go to our Arduino Uno also okay and the last is 5 volt you need to connect 5 volt of your Arduino Uno you see okay and this is our ENA I already told about the ENA EN1 and EN2 ENA is speed control okay EN1 and EN2 for motor direction okay like see everything is uh, connected uh, step by step pin number 2 3 okay and please remember LDR uh, LDR 1 and 2 I forget to connect 5 volt and ground to Arduino you know please connect 5 volt this terminal to this and GND to GND okay that's all okay now let's come on the programming part okay first let's come on the Arduino you know okay now you see uh, first time declare the variable int LDR1 okay uh, I have two LDR you can choose any LDR1 and 2 okay LDR1 I'm connect pin number 7 you see this is our LDR and LDR2 I'm connect pin number 8 okay and uh, when you go to circuit diagram and you see uh, first I am connect to the pin number 7 this one is pin number 7 and second one denote pin number 8 okay follow circuit diagram step by step next one is IN1 uh, what is IN1 okay and when you go to the your uh, this uh, module L298 motor driver and you see they have a input 1 and input 2 that's why IN1 is input 1 IN2 input 2 input 1 connect to the pin number 2 
and in uh, input 2 connect to the pin number 4 you see input 1 and input 2 okay you need to use these two terminals next one is ena that is enable you see enable a because we are using motor 1 that's why i'm using enable a and enable a you need to connect pin number 9 okay follow circuit diagram step by step everything is everything define the details you see this one is our enable ena and this one is connect to pin number 9 you see okay okay now let's i'm um, created these two variables okay int speed 1 for uh, define the speed of our dc motor help of ena okay and you can change uh, if you are using like 0 then your motor is not rotate if you are using 190 that is normal speed okay and uh, if you need to maximum then you need to enter 255 like this okay this one is a simple variable live is 0 now let's come on the void setup for uh, for uh, first time declared okay uh, first we declare serial begin 960 this is a serial monitor uh, this is a board rate of Arduino you know okay help of this we can easy to read uh, data of uh, Arduino to live view next one is pin mode LDR1 LDR1 is our input okay now uh, I'm uh, show the diagram uh, this one this one is our input that's why I'm define LDR1 is our input LDR2 is also input because we are using two LDR and LDR1 I already defined here you see okay next one is you see pin mod IN1 input 1 and this one is our output you see input 1 and 2 I'm declare input 1 is our output okay and input 2 is our also output because we need to control the motor help of Arduino ID okay that's why I'm declare this our is to output okay ENA is also output because we need to control this motor speed that's why I'm declare ENA that is enable a our output next is analog right why I'm using this one because we need to control this uh, motor speed that's why I'm enter here analog right okay E and A E what is ENA ENA we need to connect to the pin number 9 that is enable A okay and this speed one it's defined 190 means 9 pin PWN pin go to 190 uh, value that is uh, give to the your uh, DC motor to control the speed okay uh, you need to define a once not need to use uh, in a uh, void loop okay now let's come on the void loop for uh, void loop for continuity operation in this I'm uh, declare here int data one for storing the value of our LDR okay this one like digital read we need to read the data from LDR module that's why I maintain this parameter digital read in the bracket you need to define your pin number LDR one you see I already connect pin number seven that's why I'm define LDR one here okay same for uh, LDR two next if okay I'm uh, create a condition if data one means this one LDR one if data one equal equal low okay okay if data one equal equal low means uh, when a light fall in our LDR that time it's activate then this condition is execute okay this one okay uh, let's time uh, remove this one not need to use this okay now you see I am to define the digital right input 1 is your low and input 2 is your high means if you define input 1 is low and input 2 is high that's time your, your motor rotate in clockwise direction okay you need to turn on only one like if you are if you need to uh, rotate your motor clockwise direction then you need to give the command input 1 is low and input 2 is high high means it's deactivate and it's activate okay this one is your motor rotate clockwise direction and next one is I'm define here lab view you see uh, in the starting I'm declare the variable that is lab view okay I'm using lab view equal to lab view minus 5 okay I'm store the value why because we need to define or we need to display in our lab view like uh, let's I show you this one okay we need to define this uh, pin rotate as uh, our like our module rotate in which direction left or right then this needle pin is defined here in lab view that's why I'm uh, using this uh, to store the value next is serial dot print L we need to show the value of our lab view okay the value store in lab view and this value show in our lab view next one next is data 2 this one is our data 2 is our LDR 2 you see I already define here LDR 2 and this value store in data 2 
okay okay now you see the comparison this one is ldr1 in the ldr1 in input one is low but in ldr2 input one is high because we need to rotate uh, this is anti clockwise direction okay when ldr1 is activated that time your motor rotates clockwise direction help of this input one and input two uh, when ldr2 is activate that time your motor rotate is anti clockwise direction you see input one is right now high and input two is low Okay, and uh, this two function is same live equal to live view and right now it's give plus 5 store the plus 5 value and in this condition minus 5 okay next uh, okay this one if data 1 equal equal low and I'm using the and condition if data 1 equal equal low and data 2 equal equal low that's time your motor is stop you see right now into 1 and into high high means deactivate both pins and your motor is stop and I'm using the else if this three condition is not fulfilled then this condition is execute else same digital write input one high input two also high and this one is serial print that's time your motor is stop condition okay this one and you need to verify this program okay and connect your Arduino you know okay, now let's check and you see uh, I have solar plate connected directly connect to our multimeter and it's you two voltage okay and help of uh, this torch light uh, let's let's uh, see what's output and you see it's working perfectly you see okay and you see the voltage is 3.4 Okay, now let's come on the live view. Okay, and save this uh, project. Upload to your Arduino, you know. Okay, and let's I'm um, close this one. Close this. Open your live view. Okay. Right click here and go to instrument IO visa. Pin this one. Okay, and follow step by step. Uh, first, I'm using advanced open like this. Second, in its close like this and next one we need to use this read okay because we need to read the data I'm connect to this terminal okay and close this now select press control space press control W okay now you see and uh, select this okay, visible click to label you see visa open visa read and visa close and okay uh, again right go to structure and use while loop for continuity operation like this okay and you see they have byte count you see i already connected here byte count right click here and create a control uh, like this this one okay but right now i already use that's why i'm delete this one okay and next one you see they have a uh, option read buffer you need to connect read buffer here okay but right now we need to convert into integer value like uh, click to visible label this one is string to number how you can do this right click go to string and uh, go to number string conversion use this one string to number okay like this okay and first you see string you need to connect to this one this is your string from Arduino you know serial, serial monitor okay next it's convert into integer or we can say number this one let's um, delete this one okay everything is done let's I delete this diagram first click to refresh and select com let's um, uh, select com 3 and you need to enter byte count uh, let's I'm here I'm here 30 and click to run now you see uh, right now the needle is in center And guys very important thing uh, right now uh, we are using the DC motor and they have no encoder and it's not able to give the feedback 
okay that's why uh, they have something uh, problem or we can say not accurate value uh, display in live view okay and in the next video we try to use uh, the servo motor except to our dc motor because servo motor gives a perfect angle where it stand try to use the servo motor in solar tracking project and it's uh, servo motor give the feedback uh, we are taking the feedback of uh, in our lab view and so the perfect angle where is our servo motor okay okay guys uh, try to create this project and enjoy and i will try to create a new uh, video about solar tracking project using the servo motor okay guys, and thank you so much if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys